Hello everybody, this is the Dean of Fernand Cap. We are going to analyze obstacles from a standard instrumental departure, in this case in Madrid. We are going uh, in this case to this point here uh, with no guidance and with uh, we cut with DME. So we got here the tolerance previous and the lattice. As you can see, this is our uh, Nova date. It's a board. In this case, we got here um, the Nova dates. It's a BOR DM PDT. So, so we are going to this point in a guidance, no guidance, but with a demi, with a track with no guidance, with uh, a demi track. And also at the end we intercept this track from this Navadate. So this is the areas from the standard inter standard instrumental departure. So we are going to analyze obstacles in this case this area that is the Enix segment. And also after that we are going to analyze obstacles from the TP. This is the KK and this is the primary area and the secondary and secondary after the TP. In this case uh, we are going to evaluate analyze uh, obstacles from the AD2, from the root, some obstacles I got in in a data data file and also the then data that you can analyze uh, in this case is a then data with that size of the of the cell that you can find in this case we found uh, 200 meters from the cell but you can use whatever you need it but uh, if you uh, decrease uh, the size of the cell more time is going to to take to, uh, to analyze the obstacles in this case we are going to we, we got a uh, load already the obstacles from the root in this case this is in root 5.4 from the APA as you can see, this of the obstacle from the Spain, more than 100 meters. Also, we got in Madrid the um, the dos obstacle. We are going to to load that. So we are going to analyze that uh, these points, these obstacles. The are dos obstacle that is 47,000. And the data, that's it, is a terrain data. And also we are going to check with a, with a shape file from the ENG. IGN here for Spain is called uh, Instituto Geographic National, National Geographic, Inter uh, National Geographic Institution. That it's, uh, is the public service that uh, is in charge of here in Spain from terrain and that kind of data. So uh, we are going to use in the utility spanox the the analysis obstacles model. model. Analysis obstacles model.
Okay, as you can see, this is the obstacle from the Abydos. There are 47,000 elements loaded. You can watch that that here in the output. Yes, is it's 47,000 elements have been loaded. So, okay, we are going to to make invisible la layers. And also the other those obstacles from a port. We, we are already in the memory system. We got that um, obstacles in the memory, so we don't need to to see it in the in the workspace. So this is it to work. Okay, more you need. We are going to uh, to analyze the city in its segment. This is the city the element sit in its uh, segment from the standard instrumental departure so we're going to going to evaluate it's, it's the same as we are going to do this from the uh, standard instrumental departure but it's the same it's the same idea from the miss approach because instead of there you get shock and instead of uh, uh, yes, it's, it's the same. It's the similar. It's similar. The the only thing changes is the that in the standard instrumental departure, seat, uh, you get the PDG. That is the most important thing in in, in a standard departure instrumental. Is the PDG. You can get 3.3 .3 up to I don't know maybe 10 percent of the PDG. But in the in the mission approach. Uh, the usual slope is 2.5 so we are going we are not uh, in, in the the main idea is not change that that the slope maybe you uh, the, we needed to change the the init initial of that uh, slope in this case the oka so but in the standard departure uh, we are not the possibility of change that there is not there are this there is not that possibility so the only thing you have to do is change the PDG. so the most important thing in this in the evaluation analysis obstacle from the standard departure instrumental is the PDG. so okay we are going to uh, analyze uh, seed initial segment we got also misapproach initial segment, so it's the same, but in this case we are going to analyze seed initial segment. Okay, we got here this PDG is the 3.3 percent. Okay, about there is uh, also is five meters or 10 uh, 16.4 feet. The oil gradient that is 2.5. And if we got here cat at H for helicopters. Uh, we got the OS gradient is 4.2 but this is the uh, panos tell you that is 2.5 but if you going to to do a OS different from that you can do it but this is the red the rule of the panops 2.5 of the OS gradient so okay you can put here TDA if we got here a TDA but in this case it's the P so also we got here PBN if you got secondary areas and you don't need a track because it's in conventional you need a track from the board from another date okay or from in this case guidance if you get uh, secondary areas and it's conventional you need the track but in PBN you not need you don't need it the track so in this case we're going to push next click next Okay, and we are now we are going to add in the data. In this case, I get a file format X X J Z. We are going to add it. In this case, is this is this is a stack called seed fourteen text. We're going to add it. The format of this is, is the X J and Z. We got uh, maybe. 10 points, I don't know, but you got you got that points. Well, we are going to to show you what 
what points that we are going to evaluate analyze so in this case presentation we got this we are going to show you this is the main data pp1 pp2 pp3 and this case is name so okay so the format is is bad the file format is name x if if it is click it you have to put um, this case open because the other case is not loaded because uh, we got name 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 x j z if you don't got you don't get a name uh, you have to not click in this in this case so because we got here this file format name x if check it if not the format is x j z okay here we are going to edit the dem data in this case we got uh, this supernova data it's a sex size of 200 meters okay we open and select the xml obstacle or, or the already charged in memory that is the end root and another data you get in the workspace this is the output the critical obstacle is output if um, you are going to to get a file with the analysis of obstacle from uh, uh, from the files on the memory data and the limit is 5000 or 10000 you can choose if you need more you can change in this case we'll select a 5000 is the typical if you less more you can get 10,000 so we're going to click finish okay and the output tell you what you need to to in this case we got uh, evaluation seed initial we got the there we got a point now because the other day we got here the the there so this is the point there they're selected the threshold in this case is the threshold we need uh, the polyline primary area in this case this is the primary area primary initial seed area selected and if we got uh, more secondary areas we selected but in this case there are no secondary areas because it's a uh, it's a seat with gi uh, no guidance to a point so in this case we are going to click f escape to finish we click escape to finish and the program starts to evaluate it to analyze the obstacle and we are going to get the pdg the minimum pdg as you can see the minimum pdg is 6.37 and the point is what is the name of the point pc1 this is the obstacle i i introduced the first time and if you want i'm going to show you what obstacle i added in this case we are chair obstacle in database the database in memory this is the stack which I, I evaluated. If you don't need it, you can evaluate it in that in that wizard. But if you want that data in your workspace, you can load with this this button. So we're going to open, and as you can see, this is the critical obstacle PC one. This is a data I got, uh, I invented. In this case, um, 1200 meters, so it's a lot of data. A lot of altitude because the their data, the there is in the in Madrid is uh, 600 meters. You can see this is the altitude of the there. In this case, is in, in feet that is uh, this case we are going to translate this to 
two meters. Five point five seven four meters. So also okay. We are going to. Um, there is no limitation with obstacle system. That what is obstacle system? Uh, the the obstacles we get in memory. In that case, we got in memory the root data. As you can see, we are going to obstacle is user. We are going to make invisible that data. As you can see, we don't we don't get any data from the end root. So that's that is good. And we get also the added obstacle. But all this data we are near obstacles. As you can see, we got a near obstacles from the threshold. And this is all if 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 you get this that indicate that you got here only near obstacles. But because if you got a limitation of PDE, the program tells you that the obstacle system gives you, as you can see in this case, in the obstacle is with files, we got the same here in the line. And we got also a PDE limitation with the obstacle system. What, the obstacle, what are obstacle system? Obstacle system was the, the then data the terrain data and the obstacles I uh, uh, introduced as a uh, false data that was the this is the false data I introduced because there are a lot of altitude here and this is the more critical obstacle from the standard instrumental departure so in this case the, the minimum PDG you have to put in this area is 6.37 this is the altitude from the from 3.3 percent from this point this is the distance uh, to the there from that point is is one one thousand meters this is the name PC1 we can also check that from here from that is more or less the one 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 the eleven thousand feet mit meters Pardon. and okay we can also check that uh, before this there is no obstacle that uh, less than bigger than nil one one thousand and two hundred meters so we are going to check that we are going to to check this and we are going also to check with the shape data that is you can check it the, uh, the output the analysis of data with a shape file. In this case, we got a shape data from Madrid. In this case is all the shape data we got, and this data is a shape format from the S3 data. We got there. Uh, we got there the um, uh, We got terrain point of terrain populations as you can see this is population and the limits of the of the areas we can also check uh, with that uh, upload more data we need uh, in this case and in this case we need more data but if you we need to check that uh, this 1200 is good is enough to, to to check so we are going to lower the shape this is the terrain data
Okay, this is the data from Madrid. So we are going to use uh, the tool called iTool. And we are going to put here 1,200 meters. We click enter and click I. As you can see, all the data disappear. And we don't get any data uh, greater than 1,200 in this case. So at least it's good enough. This, this, uh, this sensor is good enough, at least in this area. So, but uh, if you need to check more, you have this the data and you can check if 6.37 is good. I, I tell you that it's good. So, okay, we're going to stop the data because you can see also when we load we load the shape we got that the maximum altitude is 8.4 meters so it's, we are going to check that with the eye tool that we got uh, 800 meters we got uh, terrain what is the terrain? this case is for this case because here in Madrid is the mountains there for this is mountains okay 700 we got here more 700 meters from terrain also for this area six five six fifty meters and we got more terrain as you can see in this area also there are more terrain this is a good uh, tool to hide terrain and also you can hide uh, in the layer everything you want if you put or if you in it the name which shape with H S H A P E. you got in you start with uh, this name with these letters you can also can hide that data if you put here an um, altitude. So we are going to make it visible the layers and close default. We put default. As you can see, the shape limit also is high because it's it starts with shape. Okay. Okay, so we are going to analyze obstacle from the TP segment. In this case, this is the KK. This is the primary area. This is the secondary and the secondary area again. And this is the third. And also, it's just with, with it. We don't need anymore. So we're going to start to analyze CTP TPA. We're going to increase this. Also, we got here the, the scroll, so, but in this case, it's more easy. Tune, uh, we can uh, we we can select tune an altitude at tune RTP. In this case, we are going to select tune RTP. We are going to put here the data we needed. In this case, as you can, as we can uh, analyze, we can watch in the analyze obstacles we did before. 6.4 is the minimum for the first segment, so in this case we put here 6.4. But if you don't need it, you can put here 3.3 3 and the program tells you what that you need. This is the PDG tool. If you put here an altitude, so if we get problems, uh, we can put here 3.3 3 is the PDG from the KK. Okay. But uh, also we can uh, get another altitude. For example, we we go in with the PDG from six point four up to two hundred and ninety two hundred no two thousand 
900 feet. You can put here 200, 900, 2,900 feet. And after that altitude, you get another PDG. PDG of two, if after that altitude. In this case, if you, if you want to find the, the critical obstacle from the PDG, you can start with 3.3. This is the PDG 3.3 after the KK. Uh, before we get that you need 6.4. So in this case, we don't need put here 6.4. We need uh, maybe we need put 6.4 up to an altitude we consider uh, to avoid obstacles. If we but is in the next in the next uh, iteration, if we got any obstacle critical more than 3.3, so if you do, if you don't find any point any obstacle from PDG uh, greater from 3.3 you can uh, finish the 6.4 PDG at the point you you pass the, the critical stack. So this is more from the designers that uh, I'm a person that you do, don't know about this. So, okay. We're going to click next and we add it uh, here. Uh, we we select XML obstacles charge in memory as you can you can we can we get here the added those obstacles and the root also we got here uh, the data we call obstacle seats x cancel with that we got to, to check this because we get name x j zeta so we add it open and add it uh, the data from the the dem we open also one more yes the select the, the memory data we click finish this is the data we are going to to check to and this the output tell you what you have to do in this case we are going to select the there this is to calculate to the distance from the kk the line coin kk this is the line kk okay kk is selected we go in the primary area in this case this is the primary area we can select here for example primary is it area selected also, we got set polyline secondary area. In this case, we're going to select here secondary area selected. Now we need to uh, select the, the line track to reference to mock because this is a conventional, and we don't don't we don't we don't check it the the box PBN because we know this is a conventional standard departure. So we are going to select the, the track. This is the track. Track mock selected. This is the reference to calculate the mock. And we need uh, the last one is the secondary area here. This is the last one. And the program starts to calculate it. It starts to, to calculate it from this point. All the all the obstacles uh, fine in those areas. Also, you can see that this is the obstacle, the critical obstacle. We are going to check it. What happened? This is the PDG mean 3.3, as you can see. We need from this uh, go to 3.5 to wrong. This is wrong to to pass the obstacle in a safe way. So. After that point, you have to check if you if you need to. This is the second iteration. The first iteration is going to three point five up to four thousand. 
five or something. No, it depends on the the first the first PDG we find that was six point four. We need to check it if we go in with six point four to that point at that altitude. Uh, the altitude of uh, 5000 if we got uh, the if we pass that obstacle as if we so this is a good way to check it if we can pass this obstacle in as if we also we got that any obstacle is in the system has been uh, there is no obstacle inside TP areas. As you can see, the obstacle the route is outside, and also the obstacle from the airport also is outside of those areas. So this this is correct, and this is the DN evolution. As you can see, this is the the main obstacle data from the from the evolution is. Is in primary area, as you can see, it's primary area. This is the the obstacle is from the dam. No, it's a PC14. This is the obstacle we we charge in memory. P14 is this is the, the obstacle. We are going to also check in memory to to show you what the obstacle is. We are going to talk it about. So we are going to open this, and this is the obstacle. In this case, we got one and two from the obstacle system and also we got all the, the, the data but the data don't don't say anything because in this case that point is uh, the altitude of this point is 1350 meters so this is a lot of altitude okay so also we got we got the file data in the evaluation. We got these two main uh, files with the obstacle system in memory, and the files we get in the we evaluate with them and the x x j z. This is are open now. This is the evaluation of the files. As you can see, this is the same data. The principal data is ordered by PDE, so the first uh, the first obstacle is the same as this 3.45 3.48 is the same as as this. And in the TP we got any obstacle because as you can see there is no obstacle inside the TP. So if you open this this data, there is no obstacle, so uh, it's correct. Okay, thank you very much. This is the thing of an cap. If you if you want more information about this program or what get more information about this evolution, you can write us to info at ironcat.com. Thank you very much.